From the horrifying reason why Dementors tend to only stay in one specific place, Tehran and Dumbledore could be the same person. The internet comes up with some crazy theories, but honestly, we aren't mad about it. Some of these theories are wildly entertaining, while others are only occasionally. Hurry up! Bring my coffee boy! Miraculously confirmed by those behind the scenes. What is surprising, though, is which of them have been confirmed. Looking back, they were always there for us to find only if we looked hard enough. That's changed. These are some of the epic Harry Potter theories that are actually true, along with some that we wish were real. First, did you know Azkaban is actually there to control the Dementors? Who would have thought? Everyone knows that Azkaban was guarded for the longest time by the Dementors. The Dementors feed on the souls of the living and spread despair just with their presence. What was that thing? Which is exactly why they were chosen to guard Azkaban. Dementors attacked Muggles in Order of the Phoenix, which led some fans to speculate that Azkaban may exist to keep the Dementors in one place. Well, that's simple, to prevent them from running rampant in cities. Imagine if Dementors were roaming everywhere. Pure carnage. It's not a bad idea if you think about it. At least they always know where those creepy demonic creatures will be. And thankfully, Pottermore confirmed this theory with a page on Azkaban. The real reason Dementors were kept as guards was so that they could be confined, mostly because they were being provided with endless souls to devour. While not as dark, this next one includes Dementors. Expecto Patronum! Remember Dudley? You know, the one who constantly bullies Harry throughout the movies. One of the villains. Well, one fan theory that was actually confirmed claims Dudley became more compassionate because of his terrifying encounter with the Dementors. What are you doing? Dudley Dursley tormented Harry throughout their childhood together, but this was mostly because of the abusive actions of his own parents. Wake up, Carlton! You know what they say, hurt people, hurt people. But in a shocking turn of events, Dudley changed dramatically when he shows up for the last time in the Deathly Hallows. The former bully had encountered a Dementor in the Order of the Phoenix and had felt their dread firsthand. This led fans to speculate that meeting a Dementor had prompted the change in Dudley's personality. I don't think you're a waste of space. Then the boss herself, J.K. Rowling, confirmed that Dudley had indeed been altered for the better by his encounter with the Dementor. Their power caused him to see himself of what he truly was. A heartless bully. Ouch. But we do love a self-reflection moment. Now, speaking of bullies, Petunia isn't really that evil. I know, unpopular opinion. It's no secret that Aunt Petunia doesn't have many redeeming characteristics, but for some reason, something about her seemed to stick with fans. Can anyone really be that miserable the whole time? Some believe not. Uh, and father was so proud. One fan theory claimed there was no way she was rotten to the core. So people were thrilled when Rowling expanded on this. What did she say? There's a specific moment in the Deathly Hallows where she stops herself from saying something to Harry. She could do it at the last moment and she leaves the room. Under the surface, she doesn't want Harry to die. More so, she just wants him out of her life. The Dursleys are just the worst kinds of people. So, it may not go all the way towards turning her into a sympathetic beloved character, but it sort of saves her from the pylon she normally receives from the diehard Potter stance. I lost a sister. Now, of course, some theories are true, but then there are theories that we love, but sadly, they'll always stay just that. Theories, but hey, they're still fun to indulge in, right? From Voldemort being a cannibal to a full-blown baby drought. You knew. You knew all along and you never told me. Here are just a few of the craziest fan theories we wish were real. First and foremost, probably the one we wish was true the most, Draco is a werewolf. Yep, you know, one of those mystical wolf beings. Oh. <laughs> Some Potter stands believe him to be one of these mystical creatures. And to be honest, we can see where they're coming from. Draco Malfoy exhibits some of the effects of being a werewolf. He misses events such as Quidditch matches without explanation. He often misses deadlines for homework. He also appears sickly and tired at times. Now, no, Draco, play nicely. The only thing missing is his entire body being covered in fur. Maybe this could make Malfoy more likable. Maybe that's why it's just that, a theory. He's one of the key villains. 
Ah, come to see the show. Speaking of creatures, Voldemort is part cannibal. Yet another freakish theory, as if Voldemort couldn't get any more creepy. Now we have to imagine him eating human flesh? No thanks. The exact method of creating a horcrux has yet to be fully explained. But first, what exactly is a horcrux? Well, it's an object formed by dark magic that a wizard or witch uses. Very much alive. And all we know is that it involves murder and a sickening act that is never revealed. Could this act maybe involve eating a victim? Devouring their flesh? Yikes. That would be horrific and something that Voldemort could definitely be capable of. <laughs> Next. While we're on the topic of bullies, this is exactly why the Dursleys hated Harry. According to various online theories, how much the Dursleys hated Harry for no reason is a major topic in Harry Potter. So this next fan theory attempts to justify why they treat him so badly. It's because Harry is a Horcrux, and they may feel his evil aura. They despise the part of Voldemort inside him rather than the person he is. While technically, this does make a lot of sense. Harry Potter fans know that the family is not connected to that world in that way, but who knows? Maybe one day, J.K. Rowling will come out of nowhere and confirm it. Where is your mom? Many Harry Potter stands hope so. Just like this next one that suggests Ginny may have used a love potion to force Harry to fall in love with her. After all, he does seem to get the feels for her rather quickly. She would also have access to them as her brother sells such potions in her joke shop. Although this particular fan theory sounds unlikely, it does remain entertaining. Now, picture this. Dumbledore and Ron are actually the same person. Crazy, right? How could this even happen? Well, fans theorize time traveling. The books even mention lots of similarities between the two, like their scars, love of sweets, and their odd affection for so. socks. Spinach, liver, and tripe. He works. Lastly, probably one of the craziest, yet it makes total sense. You know how there's a need for more students at Hogwarts? Did you ever notice the school is kind of empty? I mean, they're the only really school-like in that country. Well, there's one interesting theory that explains the lack of pupils, and it claims it's due to a baby drought caused in the first war against Voldemort. Everyone remembers this war as being intense, dramatic, and devastating, so there's no doubt where this theory originated from. But could it be true? It's yet to be confirmed. So from real theories like the Dementors only staying in one place to purely feed on infinite souls, to wild fan theories where Voldemort devours human flesh, these were just a few Harry Potter theories that were confirmed and ones we almost wish were real.